assalamu alaikum i am dr sayed ali mardanavi welcome to my channel in this lecture we will discuss how we can evaluate area of a given region with the help of double integrals for this purpose we will learn exercise 15.3 question number 5 from thomas kelpers 12th edition book the statement of problem is sketch the region bounded by the given lines and the curves and then express the region area as an iterated double integral and evaluate the integrals the curves given to us are y is equal to e raised to power x and the lines are y is equal to 0, x equal to 0, and the line x is equal to natural log of 2. Natural log of 2 is approximately 0.69. Please note that this region is very narrow region. That's why I have plotted it in a different way. Before solving, we must know what is the formula for area. The formula for area over the double integral is double integral over the region R. DA will give you area of a given region with the help of double integrals. In the next step, we will learn about these lines. X equal to zero and y equal to zero are the equations of coordinate axes. Y equal to zero is equation of x axis. X equal to zero is equation of y axis. It means coordinate axes are involved in my boundaries. The line x is equal to natural log of two is a vertical line which passes a point. 0.69 means approximately 0.7, and y is equal to e raised to the power x is the graph of exponential function. In the next step, we will plot them. You can see this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis, this is origin. I have marked x-axis with red color, y-axis with black, and the line x is equal to natural log of two with green color. In the next step, because these are very simple lines, in the next step, I am going to plot. Y is equal to e raised to power x. So this is the graph of y is equal to e raised to power x. Graph of exponential function. Please note that here our boundary region is this one in the first quadrant because it more it involves all the four boundaries. In the second quadrant, this portion is not my region of integration because it does not involve the boundary x is equal to natural log of two. It involves three boundaries. On the left, in the second quadrant, the closed region involves only three boundaries, but in the first quadrant, the region involves all the four boundaries. So our boundary region must involve all the boundaries. So this is our region of integration. In the next step, we must know the corner point. In this region. This is my zero zero point. This is x is equal to natural log of two point. This point is y equal to one. So we have to calculate the coordinate of this particular point. X is equal to natural log of two, which is the intersection of x is equal to natural log of two and y is equal to e raised to power x. So solving these equations, when I will substitute x is equal to natural log of two in this equation, y is equal to e raised to power x. I have y is equal to e raised to power natural log of two. E and natural log are reciprocal of each other, so the value of y is two. So the coordinates of these points are natural log of two, two. After this, we can have the formula for area. Two possibilities: first possibility is dx dy, and second possibility is dy dx. So in this case, I have selected the second option, y. Because if I select x as my inner variable, I have an issue. After this point, where y is equal to one, limits are changed. Limits will be changed. So, y is the best choice for my this calculation of area. So, I have passed a vertical arrow through my region. This arrow enters to the boundary where the value of y is zero and exits the boundary where the value of y is e raised to power x. So the limit of inner variables are zero to e raised to power x. For outer variable, we always check the range of region along that particular axis. So the range of this region along x axis is zero to natural log of two. So the outer limits are zero to natural log of two. In the next step, we will evaluate the inner integral. The integration of dy is y for the limits. Zero to e raised to power x. In the next step, we have applied fundamental theorem of calculus: upper limit minus lower limit. So we have limit from zero to natural log of two e raised to power x. The integration of e raised to power x is e raised to power x itself for the limit zero to natural log of two. 
In the next step, we have applied fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. For this purpose, we have replaced x with natural log of 2. In the upper limit, minus is a formula. And for the lower limit, we have replaced x with 0. Now, you know that, you must know that exponential function and natural log function are reciprocal of each other. They will cancel out and we have only 2 here in the first term and e raised to power 0 is 1. So we have 2 minus 1. So our answer is 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share this content with your peers.